And later were arrested and had to find your way out of jail to continue the rest of the tour. Do you remember the, that happening? I remember, I remember for once, it wasn't me. It's my fucking, it's my brother and fucking some guys, the rest of the guys. And I come back and what it was, top, top of the Hotspur f football team, they'd played in Spain the week before. And all the English, all the English smashed up, everything, fucking smashed everything up. Right, so we went over, done the gig, and because we were chucking furniture out the window, fucking two fights, three fights up, and uh, they, they goes, we want money for damages. So I went, ah, fuck off, I'm Scottish, okay, fuck all. <laughs> <laughs> so eventually I said, okay, I'll, we'll give you some money. But they, but they wanted to make an example, because they thought we were English, English, English. So what to make an example. So I'm like, ah, fuck off, let's get in the taxi. So we grumped, jumped into two taxis, it was like a half circle. 
So we were getting a taxi and all these cop cars were coming up behind us. But the taxi driver never seen it, eh? So the taxi driver's driving off, and there's the cops behind us. <laughs> no, that fucking go faster. <laughs> so we go to the airport, we're just outside the airport, and there's fucking all these guns with machine guns. They had the whole fucking road blocked off, eh? And so car were all guitarists, like, oh, get in the car, get in the car! Quick! It told me panicking. So he took us back to his fucking, took us back to his jail, and we offered to pay. They said, nah, we'll make an example of you, you're British. So uh, they put us into this fucking van. And I remember, I was 48, 48 years in this van, and most of it was all like smackheads or like junkies. So they took us to the jail and had us in this big line, a big line in this jail. And they uh, did these big rubber hoses and they're fucking smashing fucking these. Who these, who these uh, junkies totally battered the fuck at them. So uh, eventually we were there for two couple of days. Then they they gave us a lawyer. She was fucking beautiful. But she couldn't talk English. Right? <laughs> <laughs> she was fucking oh, Pam Bean for Dallas. Oh, she's gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, maybe people might remember them. But <laughs> anyway, fucking so uh, they gave us a lawyer. Couldn't talk English. They find us 500 fucking whatever it was, that's all we had. Plus they gave him Cal's guitar. So yeah, he wasn't very happy. Take your guitar, eh? it's really worth a lot of money. It was, it was a bit of shit. So, uh, so anyway. <laughs> so they kept, so they kept, they kept their passports. There was a guy there called Speedy. Him and, him and his the Spanish guy and his wife and his girlfriend. They kept us for five days. Then we flew back over for there. We flew back over to uh, America for a gig that was cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what a fucking nightmare that was. <laughs> Sorry. It's a great story. Uh, it's a true, a true story. Very good story. Okay, the Mohican and the skull with the Mohican logo has been synonymous with the exploited and with you. Was it Jock from GBH nah. that did it first? No. Nah. It was you. Try again, okay. right? Yeah. So what gave you the idea to cut your hair like that? And because, do you remember the first time that you wore it up? Yeah, but I've done it. No, I, mean, I got my hair because back then it was different. It actually meant something. Every night you had, every night you had my hair cut, when we had my hair cut. Every night was a fight night. Every cut would take the piss. Every cut would laugh at you. Go, look at the fucking state of this cunt. And what, so we started fighting them in. And you, you couldn't go into any clubs because every cut would never let you in. Because, because back then, Tell me, he can, it was a fucking a statement. Nowadays, like, after, after so long, you're like, David Beckham and all these cunts, I mean, he can, what the fuck? He dressed in cunts and that, fuck his eh? It's like, what's well, so fucking what punk was about? So after about 10 years, I had my making for 10 years, first 10 years, and, uh, and then I got sick here, because they made fuck all, because all the, like, like I say, David Beckham and all these cunts, like, he can, like, all these fucking models, and like, what the fuck? So I put another. I refused to put my hair up. And my record company's like, ah, you've got to put your hair up, that's fucking I mean, fuck off. And all these punks are going, you've got to put your hair up, I mean, fuck off. Because <laughs> punks not about what you look like, it's what you believe in. It's, it's not what you look like, it's not a fucking fashion, it's not an image. Yeah. Yeah. It's what you, punk's what, punk is what you fucking, it's what you believe in, your, in your personality. It's not what you look like. So I, I, I do things, I've always done things for myself. I don't ever do things to fucking please other people. I always do things for myself. If you like it, it's okay. If you don't like it, fuck off. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, then, and nowadays you go fucking. <laughs> nowadays you got all these kind, all these snowflakes and fucking cunts, keyboard warriors. You can't even see that. You can't even do this. Go fuck yourself, you can't. <laughs> eh? You go on Facebook. I go on Facebook. <laughs> I go on, I go on Facebook again. I got these. I got all these fucking cunts talking shit to me. So I, I try not to answer, I always go back, fuck off you prick, come and say, say to my face you fucking fat cunt. But then I get banned. I get banned not because I'm told I'm a fat a prick. I get called, I get fucking banned because I called them fat. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck's that about? Hey, fat is them. What? Is that a word? No. Hey, what the fuck's that about, these fucking keyboard pricks? <laughs> Really? No, you can't, you can't even do that, you can't even do that, you can't even, Oh, the laces are different from that. Sure, oh, what the fuck? Fuck off! <laughs> eh? Eh, Hartley, Hartley was right what you said earlier. You fucking punks, punks are being yourself. They're living your life the way you want to live it. 
It's not about fucking doing things for other people doing things. It's like I've done fucking, I've done drugs speed every day for 34 years. I'm not proud of that fact. But I've done it, I've done it, not because somebody else was doing it, I've done it because I loved it. And it's like anything in life, if you, if you want to do something, you do it. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. Yeah? And I think, I think nowadays, the young people have got so much peer pressure. Yeah, they get fucking so much, and a lot, a, lot, a lot of people need to stand up for themselves and say, no, I can do what I want to do, I can wear what I want, I can say what I want. If you don't like it, fucking fuck off. Yeah. So fast forward to some early tours. It's 1985 in Los Angeles at a Golden Voice show. You were playing the Olympic Auditorium with DI. Kids were shoulder to shoulder. The show was amazing and full of energy. The punks were in such a frenzy, it later turned into a riot outside. Do you remember that? Yeah, I remember, yeah. I was at fucking, I was at the Things of Interview, some news, news, TV news fucking thing. I'm going blah, 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 blah. And then I get back to, driving back to the fucking the venue, there's all these police helicopters fucking flying about and all these, all these cop cars, and all these cops smashing up people. And I, I got to blame for it. <laughs> what? I got to blame, I was, I was exploited for it. Like, what, fuck off. <laughs> yeah. Uh, good times. <laughs> yeah, I've had good times, but I loved it too. The best. What show stands out the most in your mind as the most exciting and the most scariest? The most scariest was uh, played in New York at the Ritz. And ha Harley was saying earlier about uh, the scary back, back in the 80s and 90s, fucking all the scary is like, they hated us, eh, because they fucking you say. It's, it's not, it's, it's not anti-American, it's an anti-fucking government song. But because it has fucking you say because oh fuck you say fuck you want me fuck you cunt yeah. every time eh so back in then the Rustic Fraud the Chromags all these all these fucking all these bands hated us eh all their pals used to fight all the time but the, the worst eh the only time I used to do was the lot of crystal meth eh and eh so I didn't get a fuck eh so every night we fight every cunt and I was on the other side <laughs> so anyway so we done we done eh Played the Ritz and was like fucking hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of skinheads. And I was only an Indian there. Yeah, so it was all these skinheads. And they were, they were two or three deep and they'd fucking just come forward, come forward and smash every cunt in the front there. So all these cunts with the American flags going, fuck you, all you cunt, fuck you. I just blow up going, oh, fuck off, you cunt, suck you. Yeah, fucking, like, oh, you wee cunt. Yeah. But, but inside, I was totally shitting myself. Yeah. <laughs> I think over that body, I'm fucking dead. <laughs> so so yeah, that was the most violent gig. So the next night, we had, we had a night off. So Motorhead were playing. So the guys said, I'm going to go and see Motorhead. So okay. So we went, went around the back of the building. And we sneaked in. I was up on this balcony. I could still recognize all the skinheads from the night before. I was watching, I was always watching their faces, eh, to see these fucking chocking balls and shit. So, I could see, and they're all enjoying it, eh, they're all having a good time. And then Lemmy said, eh, and this song's for what is exploited. Next minute, it was a fucking black cloudy bottle that chucked at him. Like, you fuck you, you cunt! <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 <laughs> oh, what the fuck am I, man, eh? This is from what is exploited, and fuck these cunts. Eh, so, I have to apologise to him, sorry, Larry. <laughs> yeah, we're not very popular here. <laughs> so yeah, that, that was the most violent, violent, but like, uh, aye. Yeah. Totally, aye, that was the most violent one. But, we heard, but, but that, on that tour, we had, uh, had 40, 40 gigs, us, and Biohazard, who were really good, and uh, Typo Negative, and well, not 248 gigs, I had 26 fights with Skinheads every night. <laughs> eh, and you get out, we didn't play, play in San Francisco. There's a big fucking circle, and I'm like, fuck you. The whole, the whole fucking night, there's about 10 or 12 of them. It's like, fuck you. So after the gig, the one guy was out all night, he comes up to me and he goes, eh, can I get a picture? <laughs> I'm like, fuck off, you fucking Raj. Eh, get the fuck for a bar here. Hey, fucking idiot, man. Unbelievable. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Great stories. 
So popularity of the exploited blew up in the USA and around the world, and even metal bands like Slayer covered your songs and Ice T with Body Count. Uh, what did you think of those renditions? Obviously, they're fans. Shit. <laughs> I'm not bad, eh, but shit. I'll tell you a story, a true story, fucking, uh, there's a lot of true stories. But, but there's, uh, at the time, we never got any, hardly got any press or fuck all back in the UK. Yeah, but it was quite hard going with exploited, it because it was so much hate. So, we got a. Uh, they were asking to see uh, oh, Body Count and Slayer want to cover some exploited songs. So I said, well, that'd be good, we'll maybe get our, see our name up on the, on the title of the movie. And I, I never asked for money or for a call because I wasn't bored. But I just wanted to see a bit credit with Exploited. I went, I didn't want to see like Watty Buck and all that, so we see the Exploited. So it uh, comes up, the credits come up. Song with Ice T, Slayer, fucking John Duncan, Walter Buckin. I thought, what a fucking pricks. So I went, so I went to see it. Slayer were playing a festival f a few weeks after. So I went, oh, we're going to see Slayer, eh? And we couldn't we go on stage, we could totally fuck off, eh? I went, what fucking pricks? Really fucking, ah, sorry, fucking pricks. <laughs> and we actually, we done a, we done a, we done a, we done a support with Ice-T. It was in the, in the papers, eh? Scottish whores! Empty fucking ice tea's dressing room. One well, of our mates were in emptied on a fridge and that, eh? Totally like fucking total tramps. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, great answers. I love it. You can go on. Um, so you've been across the globe. Um, what countries have you played? Well, that's not what countries have you played. What country do you wish you could play that you haven't played yet? So you've played thousands of countries. Yeah. Probably Thailand, maybe. Thailand? You have never played Thailand? I've been to Thailand. I've been, I've been there a lot. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. It's, all like, it's all like old German guys with young guys. Ooh. I'm sure I've seen Jimmy Percy there. <laughs> yeah. Pedo cunt. It's a fact. I saw to some guy last night with Jimmy Percy's t-shirt on. He's like, ah, he goes, he's, he's a bit cunt here, fucking fool him. I thought I was going to get barred. And he's fucking, he's like, ah, he goes, eh, oh, Jimmy Percy, he's a fucking knob, you cunt. Eh? You don't see, they ever see the rivers in the program called River, River, help me see. What? Riverside video with a TV program, Riverside. And he's doing like alternative dance. You don't see it, anybody see that? Oh, it's fucking funny, it's fucky. It's like, let's do that, fuck off. <laughs> this guy, Jerry Potty, Sham, Sham used to be a massive band. A fucking thing to a lot of people. Then he comes back to this alternative dance, fucking like. What the, what the fuck, you fucking prick? Yeah. Anyway, sorry. Well, again, I, was, I, keep, I keep getting sidetracked here. You don't have to apologize. What's your favorite country to play, by the way? All right. Favorite? Uh, England? England? <laughs> 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 ah, nice one, high five. <laughs> no, I think, uh, uh, Chile. South America, the people, Chile, I think Bosnia, Croatia, great places. Russia is a great place to play. We're, we're good people. Uh, I like uh, South America is really good. Not so much, well, most of them don't say that. Uh, I, it's a good place, I. <laughs> but I think one, one, of my, one of my favorite places to actually play is in America. It's a uh, place, it's in Santa Ana. Like, every, every night we played there with the Cro-Mags. Uh, a few months ago, and the fucking unbelievably, he killed the people. All these young kids, like young girls, I mean, fucking like, like, we're like gazelles. I mean, fucking just young kids jumping like, over the barrier, like fucking, like, like fucking, I mean, what the fuck? Give me some of the drugs, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking great, it was a great venue, good people. I mean, that, that was, that was a, I, I was there, I saw that show. Are you, are you there? I was there, I filmed uh, you, remember? No. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> Must have been watching my hair. <laughs> it was a fantastic show and it was it was full of young people, which was really interesting. What is it like to see so many young people that are into your music? This is weird. a new generation. <laughs> totally weird, it's normally it's all cunts like me. Oh yeah, cunt, you're getting off the No, it was it was quite it was 
To be honest, the last American tour we've done with the cro was fucking absolutely brilliant. cro Harley, Harley Flanagan, it's a fucking legend. This guy, I've only read the book of that, but his book's fucking totally 100% real life, eh? The guy's life, how he's still alive is unbelievable. He's a fucking 100% good guy. And the guy, the guy in the, I kid the Cro-Max have split what, two different parties, like we, him and his uh, ex-band members, band members. But uh, I only know Harley, and Harley's like a, one of the few American guys that I like. People like Henry Rollins, fucking wanker. <laughs> hey, lying cunt. He's a fucking massive liar, you cunt. I'm gonna let her fuck off. Go fuck yourself, you prick. Jello <laughs> hey, Biafra, another fucking liar as well. But, but like I say, how hell is it? Well, that's exactly you cunt. <laughs> Did he see stand him up? Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to get it right for fuck's sake. You have a bit of a rivalry with Jello Biafra, right? No, it's not. It's not <laughs> no, what it is. It's like, you eat Jello Biafra. You, you have. It's diet. It's Jello. Yeah, yeah. There's always room for Jello, no, Harley. No, the thing, the thing is, I hate liars, eh? Like, I hate, I hate fucking li I hate constant lie. If you've got something to say, say it. Say it. And it's like. But Jello, Jello, like I like the Dick Kennedys, the, the, the early stuff's great. But he was, he was over here in the UK and he was he done an interview. And all the, all the bands he said he liked, or the, the punk, punk bands he said he liked, I'm not, I'm not talking about Exploit, I'm talking about other punk bands. All the bands he said he liked, oh, great band, great band. Then a few months later, we went to America. And was into, I read an interview, it might have been Maximum Rock and Roll, which is a fucking shithole fucking magazine. Uh, total shit, my guess, fucking assholes. Anyway, so he did an interview with him. He was asked the same question, what you been up to? Oh, I was in fucking Europe, and what was the bands like? And every band they said they liked over here, they totally said they were shit. I thought, what a two-faced cunt. Eh, if I've got America, fucking we got American pussy, what's that? Who'd you like, like them or like them? I'll say, I, yeah, no. I don't want to just, I won't, I won't just say something to fucking, because I'm not. If I, if I say something, I mean it, I fucking 100% mean it. It doesn't matter where I am. But, but I thought, Jill Baffer, what a fucking lying cunt. And then he's he made, he made a few stories about us, eh? And the, the, two, the stories that I've heard in this book and stuff, it's total bullshit, eh? Just lies. That's why he's a fucking really fucking knob. <laughs> be bald, you bastard, you cunt! <laughs> eh? We, we played, fuck, we played punks. We played uh, in the. Uh, was it fucking. What's the, what's the first one in uh, Las Vegas? Punk rock bowling. Thank you, I, I knew I'd get there. So, we, we, a few years ago, we were over there, eh? And, uh, and I was, we, we were only we playing that day, but I was watching the band. Then somebody goes, uh, fucking, they told him, all, I, I was there. I was there, I didn't get a fuck about him. And uh, so, you got all these security guys, a big fucking big mob of security guys, to surround them as if I was going to attack them. Like, what fucking. This fucking magic cunt, fuck him. <laughs> really pathetic, okay? Eh? Take your baldy head and go, you cunt. So when the pandemic hit, um, I was watching on the internet and I remember you wanted to keep touring. Your perseverance is inspiring. You bounced back from a lot of serious health problems, one being a heart attack you had while you were on stage. Did, oh, you, did you know you were having a heart attack when it was happening? The sec, the cut one before, but I never knew that. Eh? No, I didn't, I just felt like, was anybody smoke, I don't smoke hash, eh, but like, people that smoke hash, even if you know you took too much, you have a white, eh, you've got to pass out. That's what I felt like, eh? That's what, that's what I felt, I felt like I was having a white, I've been smoking like fucking hash. And then I just collapsed a bit, and uh, there was different feel. people go, you've got pains in your chest and whatever, but I just felt like I'm going, ugh. <laughs> and then everybody's going, fuck, I'm going, oh no, nightmare. And then so I got, I so got, had a, I felt like five heart attacks. I had a quad heart bypass and fucking got a pacemaker, like Robo Punk. Eh, eh, So I, so I, every, like, so me, to me every day is, then I got really fat. I stopped doing drugs now, fucking, after 34 years, every day doing speed. I got fat as fucking, so I had a choice, like, uh, and I stopped, get my, get my, get my act together, and start being healthy. 
and all our candidate gags and that's, and I was, I went, actually I wanted to kill myself at one point, I wanted to kill myself because I, I was so depressed. I'm always, I've always been fat, I've always been fat, I've always been fucking active. You lost it now. Thanks, sir. <laughs> <laughs> a bit fat and what I was, I. But like, uh, I saw, like, for me, you know, every, every day, every day is a bonus. Yep. That's why I look at things, it's like, you know, today, thanks. I was going to say, you are the comeback kid. Your health has improved, you're more fit. You are an inspiration to many people to keep going forward no matter what. And I hope good health stays with yeah. you. A lot, of, a lot of people are like, uh, my doctor, my, my heart surgeon, the guys, they told me, say my heart, I should be dead. He goes, you're, you're, like, you should be dead, like fucking, I don't know how you're still alive. And it's because I've still got a pound in my wallet. <laughs> My wife, my wife might spend that. <laughs> so a few years back, you made a really cool animated video that you can catch online. There's an animated video, right? Is that An animated cartoon? I've seen it online. Which one? Pull the slot. You, you shared it. I shared it? <laughs> I must, I we'll go on to the next question. No, 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 no. <laughs> what video? Yeah, it's a music video. All right, I thought it was a guy in France. I was a guy in France done, done that. There's like a skull, a little skeleton dude with a mohawk like I was, like, I was, a, guy in, was a guy in France, he'd he done the Back of the Wands videos and other videos. <laughs> ah, he done, he, done, he done a couple. That one. And actually, well, they won a few awards. You like it? That's all right. It's great. It never crossed me fuck all, but I, I love it. <laughs> I'm Scottish. <laughs> Check it out, it's really no, cool. I, that was it's good. actually like, it won, very cool. It won quite a few awards, eh? It won uh, a few like short video awards. Yeah, yeah it's, it's actually done, very cool. We've done a couple, we've done porno slot. Oh, that's a question that I was going to ask you. Ah, okay. One for me. You used to be a porn star. Sorry? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Somebody told me that, I just thought I'd ask you. A porn star. Did you? No, no, I might, I've been hacked. <laughs> so she says. <laughs> so they say. I recognize that face. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm not a porn star. <laughs> okay, so... Um... <laughs> now you've got me stumped. Yeah. So, actually, you've, act you've covered some of these questions. So, you know what? I would like to open it up to the audience to see if anybody has a question. We'll Nightmare. pick on you. We'll pick on you. Exactly. So, anyone have a question you want to ask Wadi? Just shout it out. Oh, a good question. Fuck the hips, you cunt. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, fuck it, we'll be on 5 1 probably. I see someone in the back right there. Hand up. Shout it out. What do you want? You. What's your question? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I've never met the guy, yeah, but like, uh, he's one of the few guys that, like, uh, if it wasn't like Harley said earlier, if it wasn't for John Lydon, they wouldn't be in the punk bands, they wouldn't be in the exploited. Because they want, why? What, what, he start, what, he, what punk started as, it was just another music fashion at the time. But what actually done, what people, people would never realised is like, back in, the, back in the 70s and I had been Maggie Thatcher's a total cunt. And there was so much poverty in the UK, so much poverty. Like the, the, the fucking, but fucking, so much fucking anger. The working class had so much anger. That when, but the, so punk music was an angry music meant to be ang for the working, working class. And, that, and so when everyone said punk was dead, eh? Because of Spandu Bally shit and all that kind of like that. And they say, I'll tell them Dan, Sham 69, anyway. So, <laughs> fucking. But so, so when. Hey, it's because you like Henry Rollins, you cunt. <laughs> hey, by the way, he does, I. He does, but Henry's my man. He kept that one quiet, you cunt, eh? Hey, eh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, told you I'd come back to haunt you. <laughs> Sorry, what's the point, boy? Why? So I, I've, not, I've never actually met John Lydon, but, but I do respect him, I. Yeah. yeah. But his butter had a bit of shit. <laughs> <laughs> but John's a fucking fat cunt. Yeah? If there's one, per if there's one person in the world that could fucking kill and torture, this is like, I I'll get it cancelled, but it's that cunt. And as for, uh, as for, as for Gary, Fucking, last time I seen Gary, I knocked his front four teeth out. <laughs> I lost four earrings, he lost his front four teeth. Then, the, then, the, then the, we're in America, he was picked with an English drummer, the guy was a quiet guy, yeah? 
So Guy, I'm dealing with Chris all this world drugs. So Guy went in the van and dragged Gary with fucking speckling on, speckling on the drummer. I mean, leave, fucking leave him. So I used to say, I started doing Rosie's speed. If anybody put their face near me, I'll just fucking stick it on them. Right, so, uh, right, so, so Gary had done it, so me and my fight in the van, I lost my four earrings, he lost his front four teeth, and, and his face was fucking like a big fucking beat spot. <laughs> right? So, so, next day we had to fly back to, to, back to the UK, and Dolly Parton, Dolly Parton, well, I've never seen John and Gary because they kept away from me. They were hiding for two days. They got back, then they got to the airport, and Dolly Parton, they, I said to him, hey, honey, what well, am I to you? He said, look, have you been in a car crash? <laughs> been in a car crash, I just smashed, fuck it, I mean. So to, to answer your question, no, I, I didn't really talk to him, mum. We're going to wrap it up and Jill will take one more question. <laughs> it's been how long? 18 years. That's, that's one question I could never answer. You're working on it. You're working oh, yeah, on fucker. it. Well, I feel a hot flush coming on. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, why do we have a lot of material oh, well, sorry, now? Sorry, what's the question? Sorry. Now we're putting you on the spot. I, I don't know. That's not like, no. I can tell you the same answer, but it's fucking, we've got loads, like, we've got loads of good songs written. Music-wise, we've got about 16 brilliant songs written, but I, just, I need to put lyrics to them, that's the problem. I'm the problem. <laughs> uh, hey, was, well, like, well, for me, I, to be, for me, writing songs, for me, I've, got, I've always had to be angry. Writing songs, I've always got to be angry. Because for me, punk's angry music. And then, and well, the last few years, with my, my health being shit, and I mean, I'm being quite happy, content with my life, I find it harder to write, to write angry songs. That's, 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 not, that's not an excuse. Uh, no, but like I say, we've got, we've got loads of good, We've, got, we've written loads of good songs with four different guitar players. The songs that we've actually kept. But I just I need to put lyrics. If we, if we are going to do an album, if we are going to do one, it'll be for next, next year. If it doesn't happen next year, I don't think it will happen. Eh? That's a fact, eh? So, and, uh, and by the way, I'd like to say thanks to everybody, all the old cunts here, who supported all the bands all these years. Because without, without all you people, there wouldn't be any punk, there wouldn't be any band, there wouldn't be any new bands coming here. So, so thank you. We love you, Wadi. We love your sense of humor and everything that you've done and everything you've brought to punk rock, and we appreciate this. Let's give it up for Wadi. Cheers.